So hello everyone and welcome to day number two here at Spain, the penultimate day of the season. And we still have a considerable amount of damage, but far better than day one. Far, far better. <laughs> because we're picking up very, very light damage. So we'll be able to run a perfect car for the start of the day, which is amazing. If my start button decides to work, there we go. Santa Marina. And more gravel. That might be a concern. Anyway, for the lights. And we are away straight to... Oh dear. I, uh... Let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous crash I've ever seen and I've ever done. That was just appalling. What the, the driving at the start of the, this video has been quite appalling. Although we quite nailed this corner. I guess we are improving. Oh dear. This is getting very tight. Don't feel very comfortable. Oh dear, get off the wall. Get off the walls. I'm still on gravel mode. And we need to get to asphalt mode right now. Then left 5, into left 3, drop outside. Right 3, and left 2, tight. Oh, this one was very quick. Oh, we lost the win! What? No! We were nearly three seconds ahead. How did we lose the win? Oh. <laughs> Let's not talk about that first corner. Like, ever again. That was the most ridiculous thing. I've ever seen. But anyway, we gain on Ivanen when only two seconds, well, slightly more than two seconds behind him. And he's half a second behind Lub, so this is very interesting for the championship as Lub needs to win the rally, basically. And we got ourselves some distance over OJ once again which is amazing and Neville is now 13 seconds behind so so far so good and we're still within a shot of taking the win here in Spain so all good for now but there's still three stages to go so let's see what happens then right stage number four of the rally and 
Where's the damage? Like, this is so good. And it's, most of the, the stage was on gravel, so... I mean, we're doing amazingly. We still haven't won a stage. But we're up there. On the jer... On the uh, main thing. And I think, I don't, I don't know, I think we're driving more carefully while pushing, which is something we didn't achieve many times throughout the season. But for some reason, we're just good. I could predict something like that will happen. I hope we didn't lose us too much time though. Yeah, we're still well in contention. Oh, for Christ's sake! Oh my god! Did that genuinely just happen? Right, this episode is from. is sponsored by Retarded Accidents. Well, I think the top three finish just got a lot, a lot harder. The win basically got impossible now. Oh my god. Be serious. That's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. How on earth did we manage to bottle that much? Oh dear. We're three sec more than three seconds behind OJ now. Which is not helpful. And nearly ten seconds off the lead. Now if I make ten seconds on the last day, I'll be very happy. <laughs> very, very happy. But we still maintain a top four finish. Still quite far ahead of Neville. So we're heading to this last day with a decent margin to play with but hopefully challenge for a podium to end off this season as well but um, nevertheless that wraps up 
day number two here at Spain of the season finale and next up we'll have the very last stages of the season but that's in just a while but for now that is all and I'll see you very shortly for the proper finale of this WRT3 campaign with Solberg. Until then, take care.